So today is Wednesday, April 13th, 2011. We're here for the April Festival Commission meeting. And we start with the Pledge of Allegiance, is that correct? Can yes. you start that for I us? Because you're like the official flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Uta. Call to order. Okay. I need a motion for determination of a quorum. Right? Right. Well, we have a we have a quorum. we have a quorum. And now I need a motion for approval of the agenda for tonight. Thanks. My motion. Second. 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 Oh. Motion carry. Motion. No, we have to vote on it. Oh, you have to vote on the motion? <laughs> yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. None. Okay. Now, motion carried. Motion carried. Yes. Now, did everyone get minutes from the 9th? Yes. Meaning February, and I'm sorry about March, but I could not help to cancel that at last minute. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Everything is fine, though. Everything is fine. So, do we have a motion to approve the minutes from February 9th? Did everyone look over those, or do we need a minute? Mm -hmm. Is there a motion? I, mo I motion. Second? I second. Motion carried. Vote. We need a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay. Now motion carried. Motion carried. This is the part I hate. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the boss <laughs> part, man. Okay, well, let's get, down to, boss let's get down to what we're here to talk about. We have a couple of guests here tonight, so we have some updates on some events that are going to happen. And if I could ask Dr. Mm -hmm. Ron Morris, have you been to one of these meetings, Ron, before? Yeah. Have you, you know what to do with the microphone and all that? I can try. Okay. So Ron's here because he's doing our fireworks this year, and he's going to update us. Update us. Hi, I'm Dr. Morris, and thank you for inviting me here tonight. I just want to give you an update, but first I'd like to thank you for the Island Fest giving us the bid to do the fireworks show this year. I think you will not be disappointed. Um, a little update. Uh, currently, our budget is $8,000, and I'm looking to uh, independently raise another four. Uh, through uh, other donors that are more than willing at this point to uh, up the budget. And uh, I was talking with um, uh, Tim the other day when we submitted all the paperwork and proposal with the uh, township for the approval that if I'm successful in raising $4,000 and above, anything above $4,000, I'll turn back into the Island Fest Committee, wow. which wow. that probability hopefully is pretty good. Uh, my previous efforts for other uh, fundraising events and for other charities, we've raised as much as 25000 Wow, that's but pretty good. But we're getting a late start. So uh, what I'm proposing at this point, um, if we get the additional money, you will see um, not only 8-inch shells out here, we'll see 10 and 12s, which uh, all previous fireworks show never saw anything above a 5. And the quality of these shells are unbelievable and we're going to be making a lot of homemade goodies so we got a lot of special effects one of the things that I ran by Tim that I also ran it by the airport um, commissioner um, uh, uh, Thiel Derek Thiel Derek, uh -huh. uh, is to have a, a special sponsorship area where we serve uh, a dinner and uh, beer and wine and soda and uh, I've already contacted uh, TV Diner, and they're willing to do this for approximately $25 a head. And we would be selling special patron tickets for $45. And the area that uh, Derek thought would be ideal would be right in front of this gated area right here uh, next to the building. Right here in front, you can see it right outside right. this window. And I'm estimating from previous uh, endeavors like this, we usually get about 200 and if I can charge 45 to $50 a ticket, that will generate additional funds. As far as uh, different sponsorship levers that uh, Tim put together, a, a letter that showed fireworks sponsor, and then you had different levels from $2,500 all the way down. Uh, as long as uh, we can continue to let those people have some, the same similar uh, advertising 
and then I would throw in a few other patron tickets for the dinner and drinks, uh, I think these people would be more than mo motivated to give thousands. Uh, so you're gonna, are you going to be soliciting your sponsorships? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take and care of then all what about the sale of these $25 tickets? To I'll be taking care of all You'll that. You'll be taking too. care of all the yeah. sales of the tickets. Yes. So no uh, ticket you can't get in. Are you going right. to need a tent? No. And no. If, I, if I decide at the last minute to put one up, if it looks like bad weather, I may or may not do that. But right now they would bring their own seating. All we would do, and Derek said, kind of like at uh, Greenfield Village when you go for the Fourth of July. Similar night. to that. I don't I know if anybody here attended the uh, Lake Erie. I did. Um, I, you know, when I did the Lake Erie mm -hmm. Festival for the uh, shares, yep. for the symphony. Yeah. We had the VIP ticket thing. It's very mm -hmm. similar to that. Okay. Uh, you bring your own seating, mm -hmm. and we just have you know buffet style food and drink. You know, it would be barbecue ribs, chicken, and hot dogs or hamburgers. Sounds good along with beer, wine, and soda and water. And that's for Friday. That would be for Friday night. And we probably wouldn't start serving till 7. It would be a little later so it doesn't interfere with the steak dinner right. that the um, Knights of Columbus is doing. And then we would serve you know, right up to the fireworks. And currently, right now, uh, although you say 10 o'clock, I'm probably going to not shoot till 10.15. And this will not be computer choreographed, although half of the show will be electronically fired the other half will be fired by myself and two other operators um, you know where we do special effects and some will be hand lit but all the bigger shells and all the special effect stuff will be all electronically um, Tim asked me about playing music uh, you know with that we have the capability to broadcast uh, over an FM band we just tell everybody what frequency you want and we can even set it up so that it goes over the speaker system for the bands that are playing we also have PA equipment, but you know I do have a sound, different soundtracks I've used in the past that are very fireworks friendly and, and very upbeat type of music. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if you really want to play music, I'd rather you play something I give you, as opposed to letting them just play random music because uh, we can somewhat hand light and push buttons so it somewhat choreographs it. Right, but right. It would it wouldn't be what I would call a high end choreographing. If you're really happy with the show this year, I need to let you need to let me know well in advance that yes, this is something that we want you to do again. We start the fundraising efforts in the fall, and we get the budget up to fifteen thousand, and then we can do the <coughs> computer choreograph because that takes six months to a year to set that up. Um, the other thing, as you know, and when I gave you the proposal, I'm donating all the labor. I'm also getting all volunteer labor. And so all the money, the extra money of $4,000 that we may raise, plus the $8,000 you're putting in, is really going to give you a $20,000 show. Mm -hmm. Now, if I fall over and die, then it'll be back down. <laughs> Don't say so. things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the bid was based on, you know, what it would take. You know, so you, paying people and all that. Just want some lawn seats over here, right? Yeah, and if you looked at the area that is gated right here, this picnic area, we would just project that out to almost the first uh, taxiway. And Derek said it would be no problem putting up um, storm fencing or the snow fencing to just to, so that we have a quarantine area. But the people who would be sitting up in this area are going to really feel the special effects. Mm -hmm. We have one called the Tornado of Fire that I designed and built. <clears throat> it's 66 gallons of liquid propane in 30 seconds. And it looks like a tornado. And it's very impressive. And it, you can feel the heat from 1,000 feet away. So we're going to be firing that off. Um, we also have a lot of homemade comet mines that will be up close. He's closer to public safety. <laughs> okay, I was just going. No, he's already been over to talk tonight. I know, I'm like. Oh, no. this is all fire approved and everything. All right. And, you know, it's very. Yeah, this got out of my questions. realm, and I don't want to, you know. No, I it's, make it, sure but it, it's, it's a very neat special effect. I mean, only people who are on the ground and here at the Island Fest will be able to see it. People who are <clears throat> at their houses or stuff will only see a glow in the sky. And if we have a mastodont we want to roast, we'll bring it on. We'll, <laughs> we'll cook it in 30 seconds. So That's about all I need from uh, or tell you about the update. All I need is the approval from uh, the, the festival committee here mm -hmm. is to go ahead with allowing me to have space here and to sell additional patron and sponsorship tickets. Did you, do you know exactly where the space is? Is it, is it near the garden? No. 
Well, let's can take I, a minute. Can I, I, I just want to make sure it doesn't interfere with the test. Oh, talk to the people. Will you? We'll, we'll, we'll talk to the people. Oh, okay. Shell, I own three. I own one of the only three 24 inch mortars in the world. So, wow, and we so 45 to 50 bucks will get them a uh, uh, buffet with chicken and ribs. And is the, are the drink tickets extra? Or no, that's included. included. Yeah, okay. yeah, so. approximately 200. You're gonna have that's what we're hoping for. Those are gonna go quick. A um, couple of quick questions, yes. um, housekeeping type questions. Um, the are you the proceeds you said were going to go back to the Island Fest, or do you well, have another um, cause that well, you're? Well, what, what my game plan was at this time for the people I contact to give me sponsorship money, that they would send it directly to me, and this is also the logistics for the tax deduction and the cashing of the checks, that the check would be out, made out to the Gross Seal Island Fest, just like your sponsorship letter says. But then it would have a, and then slash somewhere in the memo, fireworks, they give the checks to me. And then I tally that all up and then give them to Tim or someone else on the committee to put in your kitty. But once I reach that $4,000 goal, from this latest stage, and for me to put 4000 just in product, and this is at wholesale, this is not including any other labor, insurance, or anything else, for me to put another 4000 in the show, I can't shoot anymore with the time allotted and setting that up in one day. If I start... You know, increasing it much beyond that, then we have a logistics problem that I need to three or four days to set this up. Right. No, again, I'm just. You had said that uh, you were going to try to raise this extra money, and I, I, I assumed it was earmarked, as you said, for the festival or the fireworks. Right. Um, but the and the the proceeds or the tickets for those 200 people. That's part of that for. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. that's what I wanted to clarify. Yeah, so I'm I'm going after businesses, individual sponsors, and then individual people. And so maybe businesses could buy ten tickets. Well, I know some businesses right now are ready to buy that twenty five hundred dollar level. That's oh, wonderful. Okay, great. So I mean some people know me real well, and, and they want to sit right there right. and they're willing to donate to the cause. That's that's awesome. So yeah. but you know I only need about another four grand. I've already put all those fireworks on hold so they don't get sold somewhere else. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, a lot of that money is being used as just raw materials because we're building stuff. A lot of the special effects stuff that you just can't buy. And my other question, because you had touched about the drinks and so forth, um, will we require the, v the people in that area to have the wristbands? Yes. Yes, I okay. already so have you're wristbands. You're going to sell your own wristbands, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, I have wristbands already, and my staff have been through this before. They they get to come in free, but they have to so work it's a together. Separate, it's a separate little party within our party. Yeah, the only I understand that. Will our people understand that those oh. wristbands um, work with our wristbands, or will they all be the same? Well, our, our crew will only be here and that we will be serving only our people in that given area, so they won't be going over to your beer tent and if they do come over, I'm sure ours are different colors. I mean, if, yeah. if they go over to your beer tent, yes, they may need another wristband, right. and they're going to have to pay ID. for that. I mean, right. it has right. nothing to do with what this what VIP area is. Because we already is. have different colors for each day. Yeah, and we have here, special so wristbands that will only be recognized okay. here. And if people who wander in want to say, what's that going on? I say, well, okay, you got 45 or $50. We'll give you admission to this area, but you're going to have to bring your own seat or sit on the lawn. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, thank you. So, that sounds great. Glad you yeah, got your bid in this year. It's looking good. Three years. 
Not by the deadline, though. And so okay. I want to make it clear to people. It's we good. I know. you down. So. All right. It is good. Thank I know. Thank you very much. We're excited. All right. So we're not going to be at the east. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Okay. Now we have Donna. Um, well. Donna Henson from the Brazil Alliance for the Arts. Oh. I was, what are you yeah. talking about? You're going to talk about your right. little. Oh, that's cute. You're going to talk about the the Sunday kids event, right? Uh, or whatever you're prepared for. Yes, that's what I'm prepared for. Can we turn that monitor on? The guy who back in that TV room. They do not work. Um, oh, they don't. No, they were uh, blown out when the computer at the console went down. So mm -hmm. we have no cameras, uh, no overhead, and no oh, computer yeah. there right now. But it was an electric TV. Mm -hmm. It was an electric short. No, I, I brought my own. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, there, there is a camera on Donna. Don't oh, is get there? me wrong. Okay. There's just no monitors working, and uh, so the overhead camera's camera. not okay. working. Well. All right, I don't know, you know, just exactly how much Chad told you about it, but um, what I planned on doing was in one area having um, the main event is the shooting the um, canvas event. I, I don't know if he told, told you anything about mm -hmm. that. Basically, the kids will have, um, I'm going to set up kind of like water guns and things that they can shoot. It's either going to be probably thin down paint, otherwise it'll clog up the guns. But um, Nicole and I are going to be having fun out in our yard Testing all this out. That's all I want. But anyway, I want that to be about the size of that wood panel there, that big. And this is kind of a diagram, very low tech, but it works. It's <laughs> nice. It's really cute. And then there will be four other stations for kids to do things. And one of them is a wood sculpture um, table where they can, you know, build. Um, I use like scrap lumber and wood glue uh -huh. and they're able to glue these things together and it dries pretty quickly and they can probably you know like leave it come back you know in an hour and take it home. Um, another table will be kind of geared towards smaller children. It's sort of um, a drawing and coloring mural for them to work on. Another one will be probably a painting station where they can paint individual pictures and things. And then this one's going to be crazy hats. Oh, that's cool. Where they can make, you know, something fun that they cut and glue or whatever, and I'll have all kinds of goofy things to put on them and all that kind of stuff. So originally my plan was to have this archway and kind of splatter paint and put the name and everything on there. But then you know, I realized that that was more complicated than necessary. So today it occurred to me that I ought to just do a banner mm -hmm. saying, you know, put the name there, put the sponsors, um, you know, on that banner. This can be, you guys, you know, the long poles that you hold up all your divider things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So you just go between two of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, and like an entryway. That would make then a thing for them to walk. Because I want it to be kind of a, uh, you know, Contained have an experience of going into something. Well, I was going to give you this yeah. here. I'm going to grab so this because I'm going to just let you guys look the, at this. Um, and I wish we had the overhead, but this is the layout from last year. You see where the golf and the Lego is? Yeah, I think wait, wait, wait. right here. <laughs> Right I think that's where we should put the art. Where the golf is. is. Where the golf and the Lego, whatever. Yes. yes. Donna, you have this over there? I'm going to give you. Yeah, is that the east wall? It's kind of between. Yes. The yeah. yeah. east wall. Yeah, I was going to tell you guys, I can do this inside or out. You can decide well, where it works best. Well, I, I think yeah. you have such and a big uh, We have the area. same outside, too. And if there's a little kid screaming <coughs> while doing crafts and stuff, I think it would be better in the hangar. Are we going to have any airplanes? Opposed to. Not outside. if we're going to have this. But Not if we're having this, I don't want airplanes. Why would I want well, airplanes? Well, that's what I mean. I didn't know we were talking about yes. space. Maybe outside. Donna, can you, the picture you made us, I know, is very informal. Yeah, and 
Um, but I'm wondering if you would consent to let us put that on our bulletin board for GITV so kids get an idea of what's going to be waiting for them. I think that's great. Or if you want to come up with something just a little, you know, that, that meets your standard. <laughs> I mean, I know know they be able to see it because from there? I wanted to give you this diagram because basically this big canvas back can this can, this is a wall here. Yeah. So we can put that up against the wall yeah. and it can be as yeah. well. Yeah, well I that would be neat. Especially yeah. younger kids are very visual. Sure, I'm saying yeah. And yeah. seeing yeah. us list the events on a screen doesn't say much, but or if we put something yeah. like this yeah. in the paper to show them. That's great, that drawing right there. Right? I, I mean, that's, that's full it. of life. Um, that's really, yeah. 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 Right? You know what else? I might have some pictures that we could use. You know, like pictures I've taken of kids doing my art during art mm -hmm. camps and stuff like that. Um, and then these things are things I had left over from last year's flow. <laughs> so I was thinking I would attach those to the post so that you have these crazy things. Yeah. yeah. To make Some it more really festive. visual and colorful. Festive. Fun, festive. Yeah, yeah. Um, really Dr. cool. Dr. Seuss. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking this is like elementary and lower. Like I want it to be where people can come in their families or kids can come in there and draw or do what, it, what they want. Um, we have Girl Scouts that have volunteered to help. Oh, good. And then I also plan on having a few, a couple of teenagers to help me because, you know, to kind of supervise some, and I want to be able to supervise the paint guns myself. Yeah. Right. Because I, <laughs> I don't know. Well, the hanger could use a new paint that. job. <laughs> and one really important thing, Donna and I have raised $200 oh, yeah. to sponsor this project. The Arts <coughs> Very good. Yeah. So, yeah. I, Donna, um, did you want to impose an age limit, like 12 and under or 13 and under, or do you want to just play it by ear? You know, I don't really have a problem with if a teenager wants to come in there and, you know, do this. They're going because I know my own. They've already said, "Oh yeah, that sounds cool." Yeah. So they like that. But the only problem is, I thought I don't want like kids standing there, and um, so I thought about should we charge them something, or should we say you get this, you get three shots free, and after that it's you know right. Um, we That's so we have to move on. We I mean, like a dollar, well, or shots for dollars. Yeah, because oh. I could see kids going just standing there and be not wanting to let loose of the thing. Right. Um, so you know, there should be a limit on it. How many times? It and that should be to totally. That I mean, I I mean that should be up to you because I mean I'm sure you know this. You can put yeah. that back into your art in the art alliance mm -hmm. fund. Is that okay with you guys if we charge like four shots for a dollar or something? No, why would it? Why would it not be okay? I, don't know. I think it's fine. Out. What do you yeah, think? I just, yeah, I want to run it by you too. People I charge to buy their goods. I mean, food. people charge. You got to buy jelly. You got to pay the girls. Excuse me. <laughs> well, whatever they're selling. I mean, the people that have the booths. Are the kids uh, making things that they're going to be able to take away? Yes. The hats and the yeah. yeah. Sculptures and stuff. So yeah, there's everything is value with that. that. Yeah, and they're yeah. paying for the product um, too. Well, I wasn't sure whether I was just going to charge them for shooting the canvas and let the rest be free or should I just charge That's I mean I'm you. just asking your opinion now um, or just to come in you know some really nominal thing I, I think your idea of charging just for shooting at the canvas is a, a good move because I think that's going to be hot ticket item I think and, so and too. it'll give you cause to move <laughs> them out of there too yeah you know, exactly for a dollar like chance right of, I, I kind of don't want to charge for the other things because I, I really want them just to be able to have fun. Yeah. You know. Donna, we break down a list. This ends up going to the field camera for the guide that people will leave through. So can you give me a description of that event so it has its own? I mean, what's going to be there and then what might cost? Because then they'll be able to flip through and know what's going on in that area. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can do that. It's expensive. But All right. It might be very well, brief. I do like I do it right now. It's just our splash Sunday, but I'd like it to have its own page. Some little script. The field camera will take and make its own little article and they may feature it or something. Maybe I'll take a picture of my kids. Kids, you know, testing all this stuff in my yard. Which and is then list the activities that will be so, at the art splash. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I was thinking, what else was there? Oh, I, I do have a problem with, um, I might need some help getting this set up, you know, in that arrangement like that. And mm -hmm. I'll need um, tables in those four sections. I, I mean, I don't know, but I'm thinking one. Yeah. There are eight foot tables, right? Just one or two together? or. I mean, I think one for each per station. Per station, station would be okay. You know, and they don't, we don't need one, of course, for the other one, but I think one would be enough. And I'm and here thinking maybe this, no this chairs. Will, this will help me when we set up this. So I can spread you out. I mean, right there. yeah, I think right we're on that back wall. You want the art there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that goes hand in hand. Because yes. crab races won't be there this year either. Yeah, but, but we remember we had a lot of vendors go in there last yeah, year because we were running yeah, out of space. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the coffee people and stuff were back there. Mm -hmm. we, we kept running out of space. So you just really need one, two. You're, you're kind of taking up maybe four of our Oops. 10 by 10 area. And we can spread you out a little bigger. It's really, there's plenty well, of room. Well, yeah, I think, let's see, like for the four stations, Because you don't want to like four 10 by 10 spaces. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And for then the second. other one maybe would be. We wouldn't two. put, the, yeah, we, I won't put, we won't put your four sections in front of that big canvas. Right, so you have so an you open, need open spot. space. There's plenty of room there. So I think six think? spaces. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's it. tons of room. We have tons of room on that yeah. wall. Okay. Right. Well, we'll make you fit. So, we'll make sure you're in there. So I guess um, as far as setting up, that that's my only. We'll help problem. you. We'll, we'll be there. We'll be there, and you just and if you let us know what like. We'll have. Yeah. When when Thursday Thursday we'll afternoon. Set. I've got a graduating senior, so. I'm <laughs> Well, that oh, that's graduation night. Like. by Wednesday night. It's graduation that Thursday. Yeah. When, when is it? Is the is the hangar? You watch it all afternoon on Wednesday, and then Wednesday night kind of just airs out. But um, I'm hoping to have all the. Can she come in Thursday the during the day yeah. just to yeah. to bring her things in? I don't no. know why not. Yeah, on, on Wednesday yeah, night. Whatever you need to come in, we'll make sure you can. We don't. So, this will be though just Sunday afternoon. So I thought it was oh. good to have, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's only going to go on But she wants it set up for the whole but weekend? I didn't want the visual right. to be ready so that they go, whoa, I don't know what this is. We have is, to do our splash two days with yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll see in the future. But yeah, well, plus it's, yeah, she's got we some other. We want that big panel that they're going to be squirting on and then just have a sign Sunday, noon to three, and then have the yeah. VR splash with the sponsors there. Yeah, we'll put that and on there. So the members here. And then we need to talk about the intake of the Art Alliance because they need to know about that. Oh, too. okay. Um, well, we um, are having them bring the art directly to the airport this year because we were tired of calling it everywhere. And <laughs> so we put down for Thursday night for them to bring it. I don't know. Um, what time we can do that? I, I guess well, that's usually question. Maggie and Amy want somebody from the Art Craft Mart is there until 8. I know I'm there. What, on, on Friday or on no, Thursday? Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, we're there till about 8. So are we okay? I, yeah. I don't... Yeah, we're going to drop issue? off there. I thought it was only from like 4 to 8. So wait a minute, you're going to drop off what, the Alliance? Yeah. The so you're not going to have your, have your McCall? We are. What we're doing is we're going to take we, the winner. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to take the winners. Oh, down, down to the, the corner, commons. And then we're also having down there um, some artists set up some tables or, or booths for them to sell some artwork and demonstrate what they do. Okay. Um, I, it just was... They got too hectic trying to get all that Yeah, I, I, a good I, idea. So. Let's take the winners. Someone down. will be yeah. there Thursday till about 8. Usually then we're all tired because we've worked somewhere else for the day yeah. and I'm around. And then Friday, I'll be there all and day. Friday morning we're there oh, yeah, at eight o'clock. At eight in the morning. Okay. I don't yeah. when do you have to set that station up Friday and Friday morning with the I can get that panel up on Thursday. Well that she starts coming in and then kind of You know, and if you're still kind of kind of setting up your fun stuff Friday when everything starts to get going in the afternoon, that might be an incentive for people to go, Oh, what's gonna go on here? You know, and you're, if you're there, a representative is there, they can start talking about this is going to happen on Sunday. So we, we have no problem helping you out with that. You may need to go longer on Thursday because that's not a problem either.
Oh, for we'll the, be there on um, the Art the new Alliance year. event, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I okay. don't know how. Two to eight. Yeah. eight. Well, oh, yeah. Chad's pretty much involved yeah. with that, so I mean, if he's got to be there later, he's on his own, but he can handle it, right? I don't have this for you guys. He's talking to me. The drop off? Yeah. Yeah, and then I guess I'm wondering maybe sometime I should go over there and look in the hangar to see how we could attach a canvas or, you know, to the Oh, on the wall? And we'll have to put plastic around it and everything. and. That shouldn't be a yeah. problem. There's beams all over the front there. Yeah. yeah. And I might need help with that, you know. Okay. Or who would I? Should I just tell you or what? Right, I'll have Brian get down there. You, have, you tell any of us, and if it's something I, yeah, I can do, I find someone that can do it. Okay. That's how kind of it works. Yeah, we will have volunteers for the festival down there, and their staff shirts. We, we have, there's always somebody. If I need a light bulb fixed, it just gets fixed. I'll I don't have know. three or four people there. Okay. We'll have okay, Derek do yeah. it. Yeah, I'd like to sort of get that up at least. Maybe, I don't know if I could on Thursday. Yeah, we'll be there all day Thursday. You can show us where you want it. And yeah, we, we could do it. There, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Like, this stuff will be easy. You've got graduation. You can come. At, well, we're there at 8 in the morning on Thursday. Okay. So Good. you can come whenever. All right. Is there anything else you want to know? Everything looks cool. <laughs> I hope it works out. It I, hope, it, I hope they like really it. I hope we just have fun. to advertise yeah. it really well. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the more detail we have, the more I can draw. <coughs> okay, I'm not very good at writing those things. So that's here's your. Now, are we going to keep this? Do you need this back? You can if you want. Why don't we get that up on the website? I just, I just think it's so festival looking. I do too. I think the kids will key into that yeah. diagram you did. What did you say? Too many. Oh, yeah. I also you like kids that, do that. It's, it's, into it. Probably. It's okay with you if I take a wall or something and I'd like to display some of my students' artwork. Whatever you want to do, Donna, yeah. we'll accommodate you. Yep. We're easy. This is the easy committee. This is committee easy right here. <laughs> it makes no sense. Whatever. Okay. Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Thanks, Donna. Thanks, Donna. Well, I'm going to add something because I just see Mr. Snyder from soccer walked in so Tom. I Tom you want to come up I know we were talking it's just so everybody knows we were talking about the dunk tank yep that's an awesome you idea got that so email I, I apologize for being here earlier I was working but I want to give you a copy of this this is actually the dunk tank we're going to purchase okay this is Giza yes. right yes. oh that looks scary dunk. <laughs> It's, um, <coughs> it's six pieces of, of steel that get put together there's a liner on the inside um, the gentleman that uh, Stephanie LeBoyne had talked to said that it's probably best if we put it on a softer ground. So we had talked earlier about the two places we possibly could go, and probably on the grass where traditionally where the rock slide or the, the rock wall. I was thinking where the, somewhere right over here, yes. Yep, probably a good thing. Um, we were told it would take about 45 to 50 minutes to fill up with a hose. Okay. And then we fill it up as needed, and we've already talked about if it's a cold weekend we'll, we're going to have some folks shipping some hot water from home so we no. have to. Is that going to be cold? Well, let's hear who are your candidates going in? I want to know who's going in there. I, 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 got I, some people on that I nominate. We have a star. You do? Who? You do? Who? Yes, we've got about 10 people so far, including myself. Are you actually going to charge them to be dunked? Yes. No, we're not charge them. They're, we're going to have folks walk around with a microphone. To well, you want to charge to make some money for well, yeah, we're going to charge the throw, and now we're not going to charge the person to get into the tank. I think Amy's <laughs> being the uh, no, I'm mission in the tank. Sorry. Oh, come on. I am not getting in that tank. Sorry. Um, we're we're going to charge charge the people that are throwing. We have a list of. Well, folks. I knew that. I just thought you might want to charge people that are getting dumped. Um, yeah, we have a, we have a, we have our travel coaches. We talked to them about uh, possibly each of them getting in there so we can get their teams to do it. We have some township. Uh, um, employees that are willing to do it is and we have some school employees um, that are willing to do this and we're going to keep asking around trying to get some folks that are visible enough in the community where we walk around um, Island Fest with a portable microphone announcing who's going to be in at what time um, one of the things we talked about is there's a usually a small advertisement in the camera on things going out of the festival we want to put a list of when people are going to be in with times, so yeah, that'd people, be a good idea. If people are have a certain inclination of 
of greeting somebody who's in the dunk tank. We can accommodate them so they know what time they'll be there. Um, we want, like it's, um, Amy and I had talked earlier about possibly being, I don't know, you, you may have missed it, just outside of the township um, hall here in the grass. Um, I brought a picture of the one that we're going to purchase. It's a $1,500 um, thing. Uh, we were told it would last up to five years. We're going to ensure to make sure that uh, we're going to get this insured just to make sure nothing is going to happen to this. Um, then we will also probably rent this out to other folks who may need these in the future because 1500 bucks is a lot of money, so if we can get some so of the money back. So you're buying it? You're buying it for 1500 Or we can rent one for 300 a day. So we decided we decided we were going to buy it. If this if this idea works, then we're going to continue to yeah, do it this could be an year. annual thing, right? We um, could use it for other events too, right? right. Yeah, absolutely. So we decided we'd give it a whirl, and if people wanted to rent it out, so you want to do it all weekend, right, from start? I to think finish? it's going to be Friday and Saturday only. Just Friday and Saturday, okay, because okay. we're also going to be running a soccer tournament during the weekend over, over there, at, over at um, the airport. Uh, okay, the airport commerce park. Uh, Facility. We have, it's going to be the first of what we hope is many, but at this point, um, I talked to the person who's in charge of this. We're going to probably only invite 60 teams this year. And the reason is we don't want to make this so big that we kind of get caught with our pants down. So we You're want to be able to. Are Sunday for this tournament? The, the, at this point, I believe it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm letting oh. uh, Jim Polgar, who's the, our person who's in charge of this, um, take care of this. But we actually have a couple of vendors that are going to come out for that with somebody with a slushy machine. And um, we have, I believe we have a, a firm commitment from um, from Sharkies, from Brian. He's going to come out and serve some food and, and that kind of stuff out at um, Island Fest or out at the, at, the, at the fields while we have this going on. And we are, we, um, I believe, Tim, you got a call from Jim Polgar, at least got an email about um, golf carts. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to, there are some individual folks on the island that have them, so we may go beg and borrow and see if we can get a couple so we can run back and forth and do what we need to do in order to make this successful. Um, I don't remember the numbers, but to get people here um, for a tournament, most tournaments are probably about $400. I think we were looking at maybe 250 because we want to be able to do is bring folks here from the leagues that we're in, but we also want to get folks from outside the area to bring them here during Island Fest. We right. thought that maybe if we can get enough folks here, see what's going on, maybe we can get some folks to kind of move. That was the whole idea. Um, we had talked earlier. Um, we're also going to have um, let them know that there may be a place to stay that's very close to the soccer field. If we can get some folks from Ohio to, um, to, to commit to coming up to these things, because a lot of Michigan folks go down to Ohio, we can get maybe some of the, the rooms rented out um, the pilot house. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, seems like it's a it's a pretty close proximity to the soccer field, so right. they won't have to drive very far to to do that. And um, we just want to try to see if we can do our part to make the Island Fest successful. That sounds. That sounds great. I think it all sounds really good. Mm -hmm. And we'll take any suggestions because, like I said, this is the first time we're doing this, and we've seen how tournaments run at other cities. We've. What I would suggest you remind somebody up here to do. Okay. Is that you will probably want Mike. Oh. It's on. Yeah, but you have to talk. Emma, oh, okay. They will probably want a printout, a flyer of to hand out to their tournament participant to participants. Yeah, that one. The, what's going on over here? Right. What food options are available? You'll mail packets out to the teams conference. You know what I mean? That way you can get some of those. Well, we'll, we'll probably email them to be honest with you because it's a much cheaper because you, you can attach that flyer, because we're yes. always tweaking that flyer, and it's always current, meaning what it is now is almost what it's going to be, I think, right? Is it almost what it's going to be? We keep, we keep it's, changing it's pretty, it, but, well, and, but anyway, that's a, good, that's a good marketing tool for you to, to give to those tournament people, because it has everything on it. Right, and what we want to be able to do is email it to folks. You know, mailing it is one thing, but I think with the age that we are now, now I, you I can think mail we it. Would, we email them the summary of events too. Yeah. Yeah, and then with the whole idea is if we can, um, Jim was, 
uh, hopefully this doesn't go to all the folks that are coming here, but Jim is purposely doing is scheduling a couple teams to be here, and he's accidentally scheduling them four or five hours apart between games, so they have nothing else to do, so they have to stick around and go to Island Fest and kill three hours. Good job. <laughs> Broadcast all over the world now, according to our table. That happens at all kinds of competitions. Yeah, they have to search for it. We're going viral. <laughs> We're going viral. Great. Right. Great. Tom, That's how they get you to buy all the gear and everything. <laughs> do you have an expectation for attendance? Do you have any kind of ballpark? Um, 60 teams. Each team is going to have at least 11 kids. Wow. Um, the bigger te teams have 14 kids. Some come up in minivans where some parents will have two or three kids. Some families come up or right. come down depending on which, which direction that they're going. But the idea is to bring them here during Island Fest when Grozio has their, their, their best foot forward and have them take a look at the community and see if we can sell the community while we're selling the soccer program. Julie, will, will that... Will those additional um, numbers present problems for the uh, reserves, like in Not terms of parking? It's or entirely separate parking area. Um, it, it is. We've already talked to Chief Porcerelli. He wants to know the number of teams if we need a reserve person. We've asked Chief Porcerelli, and then we, this is where the initial talks that we had in December. So, again, I, we have to get back with him. Um, we've asked him to put up, if we could put up some signs, one at the four corners and one at the corner of Meridian and Intrepid, pointing to where the soccer he fields are. So this way... Chief Porcerelli really, really would like to have the one at uh, Intrepid and Meridian because he wants to have the soccer folks come to the soccer field to, to alleviate the extra traffic. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we can, we can get them from the soccer fields to park <laughs> where they don't have to come on the main drag on to grow. Okay. Um, so we've talked to him about that, but he also wants us to have, you know, he still wants to be part of the loop prior to everybody coming. Though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, when, when you talked <coughs> about the, uh, your additional <coughs> golf carts that, that you're borrowing, um, I would just, and again, maybe Julie's more comfortable making the statement, but uh, make them identifiable because I know that we restrict um, people bringing their golf carts onto the premises, you know, during Island Fest so that maybe we make, know that those are specifically Giza. Giza signs on them somewhere so we know that you're legal. Okay, we will do that. And Tim, can I coordinate with that, Tim? Or who yeah, do you want absolutely. To? Mm -hmm. or, Tim, Tim, you okay or, with that? Or, yeah. Okay. All right. Any um, other suggestions? Well, and, and I, I hope you don't uh, take this the wrong way, too. But, Tim, let's, let's follow up with Chief Porcerelli, both on this and the fireworks information that we received, that the fire chief, the police chief, the airport, that they all kind of know and sign off on this yeah, that so that we're act, covered. Well, that will come before the township board again because the public safety has to give the final, final okay. Right. And I know he... Before he brought all his time to the which I actually scurry around. He came right and he said he just talked to Rusty. So, but we do have to. Confirm. Yeah, I mean, we we don't want to take word um, even from each other. It's nice to be able to show the township board that we have all this right. in I can check in writing. With, uh, Joey and Duncan tomorrow. I've got a man. Because yeah. normally and they're it, at our meetings, right. but... Um, and again, we take no offense to that. Like I said, all we had was initial talks. Yeah. And he wants to see the final numbers, and he wants yeah. to be able to, to do that. And again, we may have to help with uh, financial reserve officer, and we told him we understood. We just didn't know the numbers in, in, in December. So again, we're trying to make this tournament affordable for folks to come down, and then while they're here, they can enjoy Island Fest and what we have to offer. Well, I, I think it's a great idea, and I'm very excited about it. And um, I know your group does a really good job of organizing. So it, it's really just paperwork and housekeeping that protects the township. You know, right. that's that's the one thing. That kind of like when I look here about it, Tim, about the fireworks. Like, whoa. Um, and I don't know if you were here for the part that I mentioned. We are going to ensure that while we're here to make sure that. Um, God forbid, but just to make sure we have insurance. The dunk tank, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was. Th I think I asked you that when we talked on the phone. Like I was like, I think. We well, Carl. Brooks that's where I went. Well, that's where I was going with. Do we have to have it on cement? Maybe the grass would be better. Because I already started thinking about somebody getting injured. And well, the, the gentleman that um, Stephanie had talked to said that it shouldn't be an issue either way. He says, however, if you want to feel better about it, want, if you've got a choice, put it on it the is. grass. Right. But, if, but it's not supposed to matter. Okay. But I think under the long run, I think we would prefer the grass because... I think that's a good area. You get a, you're going to get a right. lot of traffic back and forth. And again, is it going to be an issue with anybody of us walking around with a portable microphone, just letting everybody know that where the dunk tank is, who's going to be next, and that kind of stuff? 
Well, I don't know. It's not even have like close by the bands and stuff, right? Well, I, I don't think we're going to be doing it during the bands because I think we're going to want to do this when the weather is warmer during and that kind day. of stuff. So I, so it's probably going to end six, seven o'clock. Well, so, now Saturday, there's jazz of Palooza going on from like twelve to six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we will talk to our I mean, folks I, to make sure that you can test, not you know, test it out. I mean, you, there's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of traffic going back and forth. You can. You can work this whole grassy knoll area. Right. Well, we're, we're going to you know, work up there, too. Go in the carnival. Go in the carnival and get yep. people out of there and come over here and go back and forth. Do you need, before I forget, are you going to need picnic tables, porta potties, things like that? Porta potties we usually have for the season. Have we'll probably there? order extra, though. Just you will take care of that? We always take care of that. I'm just saying for your added. Okay. Yep. I was just thinking of that. Yep. Well, so for all intents and purposes, your event is going to be separate from Island Fest, mm -hmm. except for the fact that the, your participants can join in right. Island Fest, and Island Fest families may go over and, and enjoy go the, the, the tournament. Yes. So, and and the dump tank is here. That's, yeah, the dump tank is here. Right. There's a community spirit that, he, that you guys are doing. This. I think it's, it's very it's great. great for you to share with Island Fest your numbers. And I know it benefits you, too, uh, for exposure. Right. You know, but... Uh, but but this but if if enough forethought was done into we thought we could everybody could win. Yep, exactly. And that was kind of what we were going for. We appreciate it. Don't forget to get up early on a Sunday. We have that art splash going on for the kids from noon to three down here. You, said you want to take one of these, Tom, so you know what yeah. what's going yeah. on. I mean, I can get. We got tons of them. We got. Yeah. <laughs> so far, that's more. what we have, and then you can you could get one of these too. I think. Okay. This is more. Can I give? I'm going to give you this. Yeah. I'm going to give you this one. Yeah, that's what Here, I'll give her mine. Yeah, Did you get this whole thing? Yeah. yeah. All right. You cool. Yeah, he's got. Okay. And he can add their details. Now go right to the camera for the program. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I think we're good. Anything okay. else? I'm. We're, no, we're okay. I just wanted to give you guys a chance to any other questions that we had. And, and again, I, I'd like to to be able to use Tim. To bounce things off, off of, because I believe Tim, you you are part of this, and you come to every one of these, right? Yes. Um, He's the is, backbone. Would you use Tim? He's the man. He's the backbone. Uh, any the other backbone. contacts you want me to go through, just to make sure everything is done? Well, we're pretty. I mean, if you talk to him, he includes all of us, and we right. kind of go back and forth. So it, it gets we're to all of us. Yeah, yeah, it's not. We'll like, get the info. Tim Tim will testify. It's not like we haven't seen each other before. <laughs> not since this morning, anyways. All right, great. All right, thanks. thanks, Tom. Thank you. Bye. Okay, can I move on to the stilt walkers? Did everyone see that information about the stilt yeah, walkers like for the, the parade? And it, did, did you check that out? Do you want to do that? Can we do that? I think it sounds wonderful. Do we need a vote on that because we have to pay them. How much do they want? How much? What days and hours? Four fifty for the day. They're in the parade, then they come down here and do several items. They, mar they, they do their stilts in the parade and then they come down here and entertain, yeah, and entertain on their stilts. for a few hours. What, are, are they dressed up? Or, uh, I, I didn't would think see so. Yeah, this is not nude stilt walkers. They're in costume. Nude. Oh my god. No, but are they dressed in old, like old fashioned or are they clowns? <laughs> They're in costumes. Right? Are they wackos? They're probably like they look like Donna's thing she had. Probably oh, that's color. really cool. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm sure they're. I, I didn't. Four fifty, and they, they're in about twenty parades in Michigan a year, and they liked our combination. Of, we have a parade and a festival, and they like that, so they could do. I think it's an parade. added bonus. It'll be fun. Parade, then they'll come down for like three or four hours, and they can break it apart throughout the day. On Saturday, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm, that's awesome. Yeah, we're not. I'm not going to. Well, that. we need to uh, vote then. Think come to. Okay, I, I move. Have a motion. A I move. move. You move. Is there? Do I need a chair? Second. A second. Oh, Uda. You just got a second Thank from Uda. I don't All know. in favor of hiring Baxter Entertainment Stilt Walkers? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion carried. Did I do that right? Very well. You're getting okay. so good at this. It's unbelievable. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, I move to reaffirm that Amy is the chairperson of the Island Fest light, Commission. Lisa. I know. It's like watch American Idol. <laughs> you need a second? I second. We all second. Really? Third, fourth, and fifth. I, what if I don't want to do it? You know, you're, you're stuck. <laughs> Too late now, babe. <laughs> okay. I didn't send my letter in in time, and, I got, and I, got the re vote. I got the reaffirmation letter today, and I said, oh, I forgot to send that in. <laughs> so how, what, how many years are you for now? So like 2082? Uh -huh. It's a year-to-year -year <laughs> lease. It's a year-to-year? <laughs> Three years. 
Unless I unless yeah, unless I quit. Three years. Well, chair, chair chairperson is year to year. Uh, commission oh. membership is for three years. Oh, it so. might say might said 2014. Will you call a vote? I need a vote on that. We have a motion on the floor. Second. I. What are we all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. Let me move on. <laughs> layout. Does everyone have this layout? Yep. More I'm only going to. We can be really quick with this layout because pretty much since we don't have the overhead, if you can look this way, I think we're going to put the art splash, we're golf, and yep. I don't think we're going to do the Lego guys this year because they want a lot of money. What do they want? They want almost $500. No. We got, we got the still guys. Lego. And I was going to, let's just, we're going to, go, we're going to stick with this layout. We good with that? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to change it. So we're mixing Lego? They want five hundred dollars to to do a display this year. And, it, and and it's just a display. I'd rather have I'd rather spend the five hundred bucks on the still one. That's yeah. that's what we yeah. 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 And maybe if there's a little room in there, they could do a little still performance in the Lego corner. Or some. Lego's cool, and we had that, and maybe next time. But okay, so are we cool with this? Yes. What do we What do we have planned for where the crab races were? Um, well, last year I put vendors ended up over there. putting like ten more vendors on Excellent. L shape. Yeah. So okay. Excellent. Hopefully, we'll get that many this show. We'll be able to do the there same really thing. Something that comes off the yeah, yeah. If yeah, there might be yeah. if you know. That's really a prime. This is spot this is this is this is, like this is hungry Howies, and that's yeah. the coffee people. We'll keep them there. Is is that an area that uh, Gyro might be interested in, or do they want to stay outside the hangar? I think they like that outside. They the like door. to get them yeah, coming up. Right. They want to be by oh. the beer tent. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we can change it up. We can put that. Yeah, that'll go together. I think that well, that's a hot spot, but we, we've got a month where we could probably, a month before the Well, we got to put Hungry Howie's there, and the coffee people did great there, too, if they oh, come back. They're over there. Yeah. But, I mean, we'll fill that up with another whoever or with, you know, six or eight yeah. more vendors. Okay, I'll just move them a, over there. No, it makes sense. Okay. I, I have a request here. That's a nice what? question. Um, I was getting, can we put uh, the gyra? Where they usually are, I was asking. He said he's a little late in his information. And Craig Kish, you know, when you go outside the door, this is yeah. this outside. This is them right here. And they hit the same spot as Long Island. Yeah, we just talked okay. about that. Yeah. Okay. Where were you? Oh. Just like 30 seconds. Ago. <laughs> Chad? I Chad? Earth? Chad? <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to go outside the door. Right here. So and the gyro's right here. Okay. We got it. All right. Good. All right. I'm going to get my trailer for the parade. Okay, keep moving, Ames. Township, we are your son. We got the budget. Okay, good. That's next. Oh, all yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed so we can buy stilt walkers. That's right. Oh, good. Yay. Okay. Brian, you want to talk about the Big Ten? Okay, Brian wants to talk about the Big Ten. Okay. Uh -oh, um, what's going on with the Big Ten? First of all, I want to confirm, are we moving the Big Ten like 10 feet? Are we moving the Big, the big Ten like 10 feet more out? If we can. Because they want to send the food vendors to the right. Anything's possible. <laughs> do you if do you two think that's a good idea? I do. Okay. If it's if it's if it's a good idea and it's feasible to do, then do it. Okay. That's right? that was my first question. Moving okay. What? Just east out that way. Uh, south. 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 So the walk so the walkway is bigger. So yeah, so the walkway because that way we can move food food vendors in there because we had that request. And then we didn't want to put them on the side because it's just Things coming going. Right, right. So we're going to do that then. Okay, I wanted to confirm that. Second of all, I did talk to, to Mr. Berenger at the high school um, via email, and it looks like there are, he said, make reservations for 10 bands again, basically. Okay. For the Jazz of Palooza, although he has not given me the school names, and we have not arranged times yet for when they are going to play. Because but I, I don't know. Somewhat between playing. 12 and 6. At but at least you have 10 and bands. And I spoke yes. with. Uh, Christine Byington, who is now the music booster president. Okay. And she said she would keep on to Mr. Berenger as. I, okay. I just said, just we'd like some names to provide for advertisement. For, That's all. for advertisement and also scheduling. Um, and the other thing is, on that day, I will. I, ha I need to get a hold of 50 amp fuse. Because since they're bringing their own sound system, there are certain logistics that we need to work out with them. Okay. You want me to send that to you? Yeah, if you can send me all the contact information because it is imperative that I speak with them okay. to make sure that this goes well. It's just so it goes smoothly, and we know what to do. Right. 
uh, to accommodate them and yet accommodate what we're doing. And it's all about logistics. Are you bringing um, sound in for revoke, or are we using the racks, or is it easier for you to get it all set up? No, I was. I, I usually set everything up on Friday, okay. and then usually I don't take anything out until Saturday midnight when everything's done. And then use the festival. And then we use the, for the for the unplugged. unplugged, right, for the vocals, because that's all you'll need. And then, but because of this 50 amp fuse thing, honestly, what I'm going to try and get them to do is reduce their price a little bit and use our sound system. I really want to talk to these people because I I don't think it's correct for them to charge the same price whether they're bringing their sound system or not. So I want to talk to them about that, and if not, then I'm going to make them bring their sound system. Bottom line. And will there be time for them to set up? Yeah, that's that's why I want to oh, talk to them. Because it's on one side, the other stage. Okay. Yeah, I want to talk to them to make sure when they're planning on bringing this in. Because if they want to bring it in at noon, then we have a problem. Then that means they're going to bring it in early, and we're going to use their sound system on one stage for Jazz of Palooza. This is what I need to find out yeah, from these guys. Water or do water they? Water or around three thirty, four o'clock for us. But that's for a, at least three hours. Right, but that that didn't. I mean, really, we only gave them an hour last time to set up. In in all truth, uh, because of the way the bands ran, but and they needed more time. If they're going to bring in there, I need time to move my so stuff out of the way. And awesome. yeah. are they really hard to get a hold of still, or what's the deal? Yeah, and I'm going to need to talk to their. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I got to talk to these. Okay. That's I I, I just, just have to talk to these guys because it's a pretty serious matter. Otherwise, it can be a real train wreck. Okay. So, and we don't want a train wreck. <laughs> so, okay. And I think that's all I got. Otherwise, the schedule is going to maintain the same. Thursday, we'll be putting the ten in. Uh, more than likely, the stage as well. And then Friday morning, we'll bring the sound in for the re the sound and lighting for the rest of the weekend. I think that's DJ it. Scotty. He brings his own DJ he'll, and he'll, stuff. He'll be yeah. He'll okay. be using it. Uh, the own, I have to make sure that he's actually still available um, because we picked up a lot of work that weekend. So, Chad, <laughs> so, uh, Chad you'll be still filling in. It could be. It could be DJ Chad. <laughs> Didn't we lock sure. that kid in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. No, but I, I, I or we can, or would we both play some more? Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll play later, for an hour after fireworks. So, who's outside? Are they three hours? That's going to be pretty prolonged. They are really excited, really pumped. Uh, you, if you went to see Fiddler on the Roof, you saw the drummer Brandon Reeves as Tevia, uh, and he's the oh. drummer in Revoked. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the hair. And, yeah, the guy with the hair and the, the million dollar smile. And um, Max was also in the play. And um, Ryan Reeves is uh, Phenom on the guitar, and Tommy Whitaker on the bass. Are those the three guys that I saw in that photo that uh, they won the contest? Tomorrow? No, those, that was a, a, another band that Max is in called Obliged. And I believe they came in third or fourth in that contest, uh, April in the D. They wrote and produced that uh, video and song. Max wrote the song. Uh, Jordan um, uh, did the video, and Jordan Rush, and then the, the band performed in the video. It was pretty cool. But long story short, they're really pumped for this. Yeah. They're, they're building a playlist. They're going to do some covers. I'm trying to convince them to do some of their original material because it is really good. And um, if you heard April in the D, I, I've heard people humming that song. So Are they 100% gross or is there... Yes, they're a hundred percent gross seal. Oh, that's really neat. Um, Brandon is a junior. Max is a senior. Um, uh, Ryan graduated uh, last year, and um, uh, let's see, Tommy Whitaker is a junior at the high school, and uh, so they're local grown, you know, homeboys. So, uh, but they're really pumped for this, and so, and they've got quite a following. You know, uh, you can hear the. Groupies. I'm a little bit embarrassed if they hear it. They've got groupies. <laughs> the girls. What? My son has a groupie already. He's performing in the talent show Friday morning awesome. at the middle school. Awesome. He wrote an original song and plays it on guitar. Jeez. Wow. And he was a student of the Axis. No, he wasn't. So we can say we knew them when. 
Right. So, yeah, the, See? The pump for that. You know, he, he only has one groupie I, that I know of. He has one groupie. Uh, yeah. And, and, and the final thing I have is I have oh, all sorry, the... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did we get that started? I, I don't know, but it's okay. But, but I do have all the estimates for the stage, the tent, and the sound and lighting. It's all here. It all has to be signed and told to these people that it's a go. And what about the tables and stuff? Are we doing like the high tables this yeah, we, year? Yeah, we, we're going to do the high tops this year. Yeah. Don't 20% off this year. See, these are things I don't even think about because I'm assuming somebody else already took care of it. Yeah. Okay. Care. They have. It's taken care of. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Okay. Who gets these? You yeah. Okay. I'll give them to you. M Maggie, can you give us a little quick update because I know you want to go home. You're next. Oh, I'm next? Um, we have 16 vendors. Oh, no. Well, that's not you. Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> All right, Aim. I'm like, I got vacation on the brain. The, uh, we have 16 arts and crafts. Arts. That's where I get nervous. And craft vendors. Why? Because there's only 16 in April. They're just coming in. I got okay. a slew of them today. <laughs> You got a slew today? Yeah, and people okay. are calling every day. A slew. A slew. <laughs> Do you want to know about anything else? I'm People are very patient and frugal about Okay. Food. No, I don't really need to know who they are. No, okay. Do you have any? Is that it? That's it. Slew. Do you have any slew? Chad. Oh, we haven't covered that. I'm done. What's there? You don't want to talk? No. What's there? Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we pretty much covered the yard lines. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Friday the third at Macomb Commons, we're doing our kickoff party, Indeed. and then Saturday and Sunday here at the uh, airport. And the drop off is at the airport. And the drop off is at the airport from noon to eight. Uh, you can bring your art down there and drop off Thursday from noon to eight. I have drop that. Off. We would really appreciate it. We're watching. I have that. Keep that because it says on the invitation four to eight, but it's we'll be down there at noon. Some will be there from noon to eight to drop off the art. Do you have some cushion seating for your people? Do oh, you have that available? Eight hour Julie? Oh, right. Yes? <laughs> I know you're not on this agenda, but could you um, put a shout out to my people? Well, there's new business. Okay, there you are. You're down there, new business, volunteer update. You're way at the bottom, but that's okay. That's the My phone part. number is flashing on the screen as we <laughs> speak. Please call me. We need volunteers. They can sign up at uh, Well, I signed a few people up, and I don't, I don't see them on there. Am I doing something wrong? Yes. We'll have to double check that because I know I got a few early on, but it's been a little quiet in the last few weeks. Okay, so how do I, once I've it's signed up. Confirm back to you automatically. I'll mm -mm. Can you try? Because I put my email for my contact, the people I signed up. Well, are they going on the site? Are you filling I up? put it in for them, and I put my email to return, well, and I didn't get anything. You didn't get anything back? Yeah. So. That's that's the only so way you'll know. The, what I'm asking is, that's the only way you know you actually are signed up to, to volunteer. You get a confirmation back. Yes, you're supposed to get a thank you, and then I usually follow yeah, up with a, another call. Okay, Julie, that's that's the, that's the, well, the issue. Okay. On I'll, I'll go online too and take a look and, and see if it works for me. To yeah. To my office and okay. I do, it's, it's the same subject. I hit it, and they all come up together. And if I check, see if I miss anybody on the chat. Hmm. Didn't you have some wackiness with your email account, Miss Chair? Seriously, I mean, is, have you received some emails lately? That, didn't you have some situation with your email account? No. Is, is your computer something? running slow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. We'll check it tomorrow. Let's check it tomorrow and do what it works. Because I did them both the same day. I'll do it tomorrow and then we'll check Two separate people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then Julie and I can check. I'll check with Kevin. Do you need to give Great. us an update? You're up. Um, no, I really don't have much. Do you need anything for, for any of us to do to help you with? The most important thing that I need to work on right now is taking the information we have and getting that uh, web page updated in the pad so it's correct. Okay, so what we have on this packet, there's really no other changes, is there? I you think we're set. Set. I'd like to get soccer on there a little more. The soccer. Our splash. And then that will be ready. Okay, because it's like two months from today. Yeah, this or less than set. two months. Less than 60 days away. Right. Can I scan that and just put that on the website? Yes, right. So bottom line, if you're not already signed up to work for Giza, Gyra, 
Art Alliance <laughs> soccer uh, in the parade. Then oh, if, Julie, if you still, still have, and, and the bands, um, no if problem. you still have time and want to volunteer, right? We are going to have a great festival this year. This is going to be, I'm excited. We need are thousands of volunteers. Thousands. Thousands. Every volunteer gets a free, cool t-shirt. Okay. Isn't that correct? Yep, we got to well, do shirts. Staff. Staff, staff shirts. Staff shirts. We even talked about are we wrapped up here? Uh -huh. We are yeah. done. Yeah. Meeting. What's the next meeting? The next one is in May. Yeah, it was the second. Do we need to? I've got May 11th uh, televised and May 25th if needed. Do we really need another televised meeting? I'd rather not have a televised meeting so we can. And it's our opportunity to sell. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to have to have two meetings because we're going to have to like really. I would really like one not televised. Yeah. Well, then we'll have one two weeks after the 11th. What day is that? What day was that, um, Julie? Uh, May 11th. What, what could we possibly say without advertised televised? And May 25th was oh, the guess, alternate. Uh, nothing, I guess. It's just hard to round table and like yeah. th this is what I need yeah. to work on. Okay, so the next. Well, we week. can uh, we can actually televise from downstairs the conference room. No, that's okay. We can. <laughs> no. Is that where the mini bar is? We can. That, that That's for the um, island. I think at the next step. Do you want to have a hanger walk through um, and go over the layout just so no. you can make your comfortable? I'm, I'm comfortable with this. I know I know how it is. I'm pretty comfortable with it. Condonna I'm just saying the next meeting. televised meeting, what is there that we need to really talk about? I think we'll probably, like the car show, we need to make sure that's all in. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of stuff yeah, to Air come Duke up. at the airport, see what's... Yep. Air, uh, we'll go over, probably have public safety come over and... At, at that meeting, at our mm -hmm. next televised meeting, I think we should have um, a police representative, an yes. airport representative, yes. DPS representative, so that we make so sure everybody's on the same. Because that's the yeah, last yeah. televised Absolutely. meeting. Absolutely. We need to make sure everyone's on board the same bus. What date is that? Uh, and the May I think 11th. it would be good to have that televised. And then the next one's 25th, if we need to have that DPS, one. DPS, police, fire. We need, okay, so... Yeah, agenda to make oh, sure and Russ Danico, and, and the car show. Russ, yeah, and, and the car Thank show you. with Russ. Yep, and all points board. Yes. Russ wanted to make a couple of changes on that flyer we had it done earlier, so I'll have a net send that tomorrow. Wow. Circuit, okay, so. Brian, if you have trouble getting a hold of them, you need to let me or Tim know. Who's that? The yeah. band. I'll send them the contact. Yep, Thank you. I don't know how else we'll get a hold of them, but just oh, like oh, let oh, us oh, know. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I just want to really quick. I want to go to the MIFA thing, uh, the 28. Does anybody want to go with me? I'll drive. Where's it at this year? It's up in Waterford, the same place they had last year. What day is the weekend? Thursday, Thursday the 28. What's the day before? Of April. I've been talking with Subi. I know. I can't do it. I can't do it. Work on. Maggie, you're always fun. I'll bring Jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> no, you may not. Uh oh. I have to work for Tim. <laughs> okay, is there a motion to um, I'm adjourn? Okay. I'm, I move. Second. Third. Fourth. <laughs> All in favor, aye. aye. Opposed, none. Aye. Meeting adjourned.